What's up, people? It's Belief, and if you click this video, you want to find out what are the top five ARs to be using in Warzone right now. I'll go ahead and give you guys the loadouts for each one of these ARs and also show you guys a time to kill comparison chart between all five of these loadouts. So if you guys found value in this video, do me a favor, smash that like button. Go ahead and comment down below which one is your favorite loadout. And then hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more of my content. Let's go ahead and get it started. So of course, the first one's going to be the Fara, And what I like to run on the Fara is the GRU Suppressor, Liberator Barrel, Spaznaz Speed Grip, 60 round Fast Mags, and the 3 times Optic. So I know a lot of people will like using the Spaznaz RBK Barrel. I tried it again. This is also post nerf of all these barrels and the recoil nerf for the fara and i find that the liberator barrel does have a nicer recoil pattern for me me personally i don't know i that's what i've noticed i mean you guys can run the rpk barrel it does give you that extra recoil control but me personally i like the feel of the liberator barrel so that's what i like using plus Using this RPK barrel, I could feel how slow my ADS is with this barrel already. So I like the Liberator barrel because it does allow me an ADS a little bit faster. I mean, ADS is not the most important thing when it comes to long range ARs, but just the feel of it, I like the Liberator barrel a lot more than the Spesnaz. And they're running the 60 round fast mags just because the reload for the regular 60 rounds is actually really slow. So that's why I would recommend using the 60 rounds. So the Fara is a really good gun because the recoil is really easy to use, hence why everyone is using this gun in Warzone. The issue I have with the Fara is I feel like it takes a lot more bullets to actually knock someone and then also to get your thirst. So the Fara is nice and accurate, but it's kind of lacking power in my opinion, which is why I'm not too big of a fan of the Fara. But overall, the Fara is a great AR to be using in Warzone and I highly recommend you guys do it just because it's super easy to use. And then for the second loadout, we're gonna be talking about the Keurig 6. So running the agency suppressor, the CMV mil spec, the three times optic, field agent grip, and the standard 60 round mags. So running the standard 60 round mags because the reload time on the standard rounds is actually a lot faster than the Fara's standard mags, which is why we're running that. And then for the barrel, I'm running the CMV mil spec barrel just because even though the recoil for the Creek 6 is actually really easy, it does have more side to side or horizontal recoil than the Farah. So that's why I'm running this instead of the Ranger. You go ahead and try whichever one you want. The Ranger does help with vertical recoil, but I mean, the vertical recoil is pretty easy. It's the horizontal that you should worry about. So I definitely recommend you guys try the CMV instead of the Ranger. Then the third and my favorite loadout, it's gonna be the AK-47 Cold War. We're running the GRU suppressor, the Spaznaz RPK barrel, three times optic, Spaznaz grip, and the 60 rounds. So I'm loving the AK-47. This has to be my favorite weapon to be using in Warzone right now. The only issue is it is a little bit hard to use, but I highly recommend if you guys want, if you guys want a fast time to kill, I definitely recommend you guys using the AK-47. But the big issue is the recoil is a little bit strong, but once you learn how to master the recoil, it's actually not that bad because you just got to pull it down a little bit and then the recoil goes right. So all you got to do is kind of like aim left a little bit. So give the AK-47 a try. All right, and the next one is, this is C-58, all right? This is the new AMAX, essentially. We're running the agency suppressor, task force, three times field agent grip and the 55 round mags. So what's really important is the barrels here. I know I've seen a lot of people run the Ranger. This helps because it does give you faster ADS, hence why I like the Liberator more than the task force of the last barrel for the Fara. But the issue with the C58 is I feel like there's more of that, like I said, horizontal wobble left and right. So I would definitely recommend to run the task force instead of the Ranger. But if you get really comfortable with the, the recoil of the rifle, pretty sure you could run the Ranger instead. But if you're starting to use it, I'd recommend you use the task force instead. And of course, you're using the 55 round speed mag just because that gives you the max amount. And you could run the 45, 
and it'll feel like the AMAX, but I mean, why would you do that? Everyone complained that the AMAX didn't have enough ammo in it, so run the 55, it should be fine. And the ADS is not too bad with this exact setup right here. All right, and the last but not least, we're gonna be talking about the XM4, all right? So it is the Agency Suppressor Task Force Barrel, three times field agent grip and the 60 rounds. This thing is a freaking sleeper. I mean, everyone's been using this as a main or a secondary sniper support, but they just fixed the recoil for the XM4. So now the recoil for this thing is actually a lot easier to control and you guys should definitely give the XM4 a try. So let's go ahead and take a look at the time to kill comparison chart with all five of these loadouts. And then we'll go into a little bit more detail about the pros and cons of these loadouts. So if you look here, we have all five of the loadouts i just talked about and like i said earlier about the ak-47 it has the fastest time to kill and it's really nice i love using the ak-47 because you just melt people and people don't really expect it the biggest issue like i said is the recoil for the ak-47 but once you master the ak-47 it could be a really good assault rifle to be using in warzone I me mean, personally like i have not mastered it yet but I would love to just because it has such a good time to kill, but it's a more, I guess, like aggressive assault rifle. You have to use like close to medium range. It's kind of hard to beam people far away, but you can still definitely use the AK-47 if you play smart. And then the C-58 is a really nice assault rifle. I think this thing is going to outshine the Farah. People are just using the Farah because they didn't have to level up the C-58, but now everyone's like had time to actually play the game and level up their C58, they're gonna start no noticing the C58 is like a better AMAX. It's so, I feel like the recoil is so much easier than the AMAX. It does have a little bit of that wobble, that side to side wobble, like I said, but then right now I feel like it's way better than the AMAX. Highly recommend the C58. And then the next one is the XM4. This, like I said, this one's a sleeper too because it was so good as a sniper support, but now look at that time to kill. It's the third fastest time to kill and i would definitely recommend using this the only issue with the xm4 is i've been using it and i've been noticing that it is also an aggressive assault rifle so you have to play close to medium range kind of like the ak-47 which is why it's kind it's actually a lot harder to use than people expect and then the next one is the Farah, of course with the fourth slowest time to kill and like i said i'm not a big fan of the Farah, just because i feel like it takes too many bullets to kill but a lot of people like it and the recoil is really easy to use. That's why everyone's using it. I actually prefer the Krieg 6 over the Farah. And the reason why is just because if you're playing aggressive, right? The Farah, let's do this here. If you're playing aggressive, the Krieg 6 actually beats the Farah within this uh, like 25 to 58 meters. And that is like prime AR territory right there especially with the Farah recoil nerfs it's going to be a lot harder to hit these ranges which is past 60 meters but that's why i think the quick six is going to be really good but the quick six is really easy to use and i highly recommend you guys try the quick six over the Farah. just if you're a little more aggressive and you're playing closer up definitely recommend the quick six over the Farah. so if you guys want to know my favorite assault rifle to be using in warzone i think it has to be the ak-47 the only issue with that is it does have a high skill gap to to start using and learning how to use besides that i think the next best thing has to be the c58 because honestly the recoil is not as bad as the ak-47 and it has the second fastest time to kill with a 55 round drum mag and also you could actually challenge people a little bit further out than you would with the AK-47. So those two are my main go-to assault rifles. I highly recommend you guys start giving it a try if you guys are tired of using the Farah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys found value, like I said, smash that like button. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know which one of these five loadouts is your favorite. And then go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more Warzone content. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Warzone. Peace.